Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Motion app for project management. So this is going to be a beginner's guide. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how do you actually start using the Motion app here. In this case, what we need to do first is we need to use their or basically visit their official website, which is going to be usemotion.com. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to view their website. So there's a bunch of details that you can view here for the platform itself. So in this case, uh, the use motion or motion here actually gives you the capabilities of using AI to plan your work automatically. So it increases your productivity. It's like having a mini assistant if you're going to uh, look at it. In this case, what is the pricing here in Reuse Motion? Where typically, when you click on the pricing here, as you can see, for individuals, it's actually 19 per month. So it is billed annually, which is uh, 34 billed monthly if you want to have it separately. In this case, if you use the individual here, you have the option to access the task management, project management, automated scheduling, planning with AI, and a lot more. Now, if you were going to use the team here, which is a lot less, in this case, it's going to be $12 a month. So in this case, it is going to be uh, $20 billed monthly if you want to uh, use the service um, independently. But if you want to pay it for annually, you have the capabilities of getting it for a lot less. In this case, uh, what we need to do here is we need to sign up to their platform. Then in this case, let's go and click on the try motion for free here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to first create an account. Now, if you're not aware here, they actually have a free trial uh, just in case you want to try their services first before actually buying the actual uh, plan. In this case, you can use uh, the actual uh, email that you are using here or basically sign up via Google, Microsoft, or Apple here. In this case, I'll be using Apple here. And from here, let's go ahead and choose our Google account. And from here, we want to confirm and hit on continue. Now from here, it's going to authenticate us. And in this case, it's going to prepare motion. Now in this case, it's now going to welcome you into motion. So you need to choose what plan that you want to get here. So for example, I'm going to get the individual here. Let's go and click on continue with individual. And from here, for you to get your free trial, you first need to basically enter or basically uh, provide your payment details here. So that includes either your card or your Google Pay. In this case, let's go ahead and uh, enter our details here and let's proceed on the next page. Now on the next page, you might see a quick video that you can view here, but in this case, you can just click on the skip at the top right, like what I did in here. But in this case, in the next pages, you should be able to see the connect all your calendars to motion option here. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on connect account here. You have the option to connect your Google Calendar, your Outlook Calendar, or even your iCloud Calendar here if you want to. But if you want to skip this step, you could go ahead and click on skip connecting a calendar and click on skip for now. Now from here, it's going to ask you to set your weekly work hours. Now setting up your weekly hours here is pretty easy. Just make sure that you indicate it. For example, if you work on Saturdays, make sure to add a check on the checkbox here and indicate the time. But in this case, we are going to keep this by default. Let's go and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to ask you to add recurring tasks. So which recurring tasks would you like to schedule on your calendar? So for example, we want to include like maybe check emails as well as lunch. Let's go ahead and click on create recurring tasks. Now in this case, it's going to ask you what are you working on this week? Now for example, maybe I want to say I am creating YouTube videos. Let's go ahead and click on add. Now from here, what we need to do this is let's go ahead and click on next since we want to want to proceed with the next page. Now, in this case, uh, you, uh, you also have the option here that says give superpowers to your team, unlock team features, and get percent discount. In this case, if you want to uh, basically add t people into uh, your uh, projects, you could just click on switch to team here. And from here, you could go and choose the seat that you want to include. For example, we want to say we want to include three seats here. Let's go and click on switch to team. Now, from here, once you've done that, it should redirect you to the next page which in this case is going to ask you what's your team called and you need to invite your team. So for example, I'm going to say this is going to be a software development team. And from here, let's go ahead and click on continue and invite team members later. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Now from here, it's going to ask you to choose your team. So for example, I'm going to choose the dark team here and click on continue. 
Now from here, as you can see, the first thing that you'll be seeing here is going to be your calendar. Now whenever something is going to come up, this is where you'll be able to see it, as you can see right now. Since we added actual uh, tasks in here before, as you can see, we have the check emails here, as well as the lunch task that we recently added. Now in this case, you could actually move them around if you want to, as here right now, I'm able to move them around. So it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to move this task? But I'm going to click on cancel here. But if you really want to move that, you could go ahead and click on it, continue. But in this case, we want to start using the platform itself. So how do we start managing our projects? Well, in this case, you go to the project section at the top section here, and we now need to create our workspace. So maybe in this workspace, we want to add tasks relating to software development. So let's go ahead and enter software development. And from here, let's go and click on next. Now from here, it's going to ask you to create your first project. So what is your first project? So maybe we are creating a website development well in this case let's go ahead and enter that and click on next now it's going to ask you to add three tasks so maybe i want to say i want to add a task here for uh gathering information and i also want to add a task for development and uh, another task that we want to add for maybe let's just add a task for testing let's go ahead and add testing here now, once you've done that, let's go and click on next. And from here, it's going to say learn from real customers here. So if you want to watch this video, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go ahead and exit this one. Now, in this case, the first thing that you notice here that your project right now is actually a uh, group into a specific uh, format here. As you can see, no projects here are going to be a list of tasks that you don't actually need to specify if they are in a specific category like for example you just need to check your emails on a daily basis this is a this is just mandatory task that you do uh, regardless if you have a project or not in this case we also have a section here for project so since we added a project that is for website development you should be able to see different tasks here like for example since we added development gathering information and testing as well now in this case if you want to edit a specific uh, task here you go and click on the pencil icon on it so once you click on it, you should be able to edit the name itself. Now you could also copy the link for that specific task if you want to, or if you want to edit or view the other options here, like for example, start task now, complete this task, duplicate this task, or view the project itself. You could go ahead and do that as well. In this case, if you want to view your project, you can just click on the name of that specific task and you have the option to add uh, more details into it. Like for example, changing the name, description in it, and even leaving a comment. It's something if something actually comes up whenever you're doing something on this specific task. Now, I also have the option to uh, assign the status for it. Like for example, if you want to uh, make this into the in progress section and uh, change the assignee if you want to. Now you can also invite your team members here. You just need to provide their email address as you can see right now. Just provide their email address and just click on send invite and you should be able to invite them into your project in here. Now you also have the option to add like for example, the deadline for that project and the start date. You also have the duration for it if you want to specify that. And uh, you also have the option here to add labels if you want to further customize or further uh, describe or your task in here. In this case, you have the schedule here if you want to. So by default, it's going to be on our work hours. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and just click on the complete task at the top right if you really want to complete this task. But another way of actually viewing your task here instead of being in the list view here because it uh, prefer actually uh, prefer to have a visual representation of a task sometimes. So typically, you could just click on the option that says Kanban at the top right here. And as you can see, we now have a different view of our task here. As you can see, we have the to-do, backlog, block, and in progress. Now, same thing if you click on a specific task here. Like for example, I'm going to click on the development task here. As you can see, you have the same options, adding descriptions and whatnot. Now, in this case, the great thing about this one is instead of just having it in this, you can just basically move your cards around. Uh, in this case, maybe I want to move this around here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And we want to change this. So maybe I want to change this instead of to do. We want to click on in progress and just click on save task. 
Now, once you've done that, it should update itself. As you can see, it's now in the in progress section. Now, in this case, people can be on the visual uh, side here, so immediately they will be able to see what's in progress, what's in the to section, what's in back a backlog here, and what's in the block section as well. Now, if you want to create a new task here on that specific uh, list or section there, you could, go, you could go ahead and just click on the plus button at the top right here and basically add a task here. Now, also, you have the capabilities of adding priorities or changing the, pri changing the priorities as well if you want to. Now, now, also, if you want to add another section here, you could go to the status section here and make sure that you enable the other status that is available here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.